Hello and welcome to our first video from CarpeRVing.com. This video is meant to guide you through our planning phase for which RV is right for us. There's so many different questions that you can ask yourself when it comes down to picking which one is right for you. And honestly, we're still not sold on one specific model. We've gone to the RV shows, pre-COVID that is, and we've gone to various dealerships. And we've even looked online and scoured the internet a lot to, to find which one we really like or which one's right for us. Right now, we're, we think we are in the uh, fifth wheel arena, but from there, we're, we're still not sure. We like the front living room models. We like the mid bunk models, and we're even considering some toy hauler models. But we really hate to go too big lengthwise, that is. I think we want to stay around a max feet of about 40 feet. And even that's pretty big. The challenge here in what pulled us away from the travel trailers and the Class A motorhomes really is space. Now I know all of you are going to say you're in an RV, there is no space. But for us, while we are be together for uh, full time, we also still have our full time jobs. And our jobs are very different. In the sound and engineering field, I need to be able to concentrate on the data and listen carefully to various sounds throughout the day and do some data analysis. Whereas my wife is working in the support, in the software support world for the medical field. And that requires her to talk a lot, if not most of the day. So we need to have our separate areas to not affect each other's nine to five jobs. And that's why we're considering fifth wheels, that we can have some basic separation. She can have her conversations, and I can have mine. We can both concentrate on the tax, tasks that we have. And then the other co consideration we're looking at is we need transportation. Who's going to be driving the RV? And I can tell you how that conversation went. And as you can expect, I didn't win that one, not one bit. But then how do you make your excursions after work? Do you or go to dinner? Do you want a tow vehicle? That, that would be fine. But she never uh, would want to drive the motor home. And she didn't want to drive all day either when we're traveling. And since length is a consideration, I didn't want the extra length in the back either. And we didn't want the extra fuel cost as well. But that's a discussion for a different day. So for now, we think the fifth wheel and one truck is enough for us. Uh, of course, we'll have our bikes or our shoes in the truck to go into, into or around town to, to sightsee or to shop or whatever we need. But again, we can go deeper into those discussions in another video. But what we do need to think about now is not just for pulling the fifth wheel, but also storage for whatever else we would need. I, again, this goes back to size and the needs of the RV. And the storage space is huge. How much can we downsize is another consideration. How much do we really need to take with us? This is another huge characteristic to think about. And size and space, again, will drive costs. Cost is another debate we've had and we continue to have. What is our budget? For now, we're thinking a max of about 75000 for the RV. And assuming that the pool vehicle will cost about the same. So all in, we're looking at about a, a 150000 max that we'd like to begin our budgeting discussion. And that's a perfect world, right? That's not the most expensive fifth wheel. It's not the most expensive pickup truck. But it's not the cheapest either. So how much do we want to spend? What about used? Could we do used? Can we get more for our money? Well, of course you can. But you can also get more than you bargained for. And for this one, we can't be romanticized by it. We, we can't get locked into it. And we don't want to, we want to, we don't, we don't want the call of the open road to come rushing in. Have to keep our head on straight. And either way you go from here, there's going to be bumps in the road. So for now, we're going to go the easier route and plan on new for both. Now you can watch any YouTuber you want. And they will tell you, hands down, that no new new or old RV is perfect. There's always going to be those things 
that you're going to need to fix. And you're going to need to find them. So you're going to need to shake them out. So slide over to our resources page and watch any of our YouTube friends channels and you'll find some something about repair on any of their channels. Or the challenges that they faced along the way regarding these challenges. There is no shortage of information on this topic. But for us today, with our eyes open, we still like the underlying security of new over old. The warranty work is always welcome over out of pocket. So we may change our story if we have if we have to. But we have time. We're still in our planning phase. We we you know we can wait for months on end. But you, you know you never heard you 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 always hear those horror stories. So today for us, for the pool vehicle, what are we going to be looking for? We'll get into it a little bit more in another video, but for today, we're looking at a 40-foot fifth wheel and probably a dually, obviously because of the size, and probably a diesel for the durability. And most likely, honestly, I'm probably going to be looking at a Ford F450. It's not just because I used to work for Ford, but it's because I know what I can do to a Ford. I've been there, I've beat them up, I know what they can take. And I know that they can survive. So for us today, for our first video, where do we go from here? We're still looking at them fifth wheels. We're still getting online. We're still finding what is going to be the best deal. And we think that 450 is going to be the right pull truck for us. So hopefully this video has been helpful. It's raised a couple different questions for you. As you can kind of see where we're going with it. And we'll be back online in, at a future date to talk a little bit more about some of these. But for now, that's what we're thinking. Our first guess is a fifth wheel, 40 footer, and an F450. Thanks. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, click the like button down below. You know, let us know that we're doing the right thing. If you have any comments for us or any feedback from your experiences, feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to read them. And we'll probably reach out to you and say thank you or, or ask more questions. So it's always good to hear from other people and their experiences. Thank you. Have a good day.